Hello and what's up? Welcome to another video in TC Vlogs. Today, I am in my room with my magnificent subwoofer. Today, we're going to be testing the power output of my receiver versus that thing. Because, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I have a full audio system in my room, which is very nice. I got three subs. That one I bypassed a fuse on. That one it has that amp. I'm splitting that amp between those two. Yeah, that's fine. And then here is my pride, my joy. Got some Denon. Denon and on. It's actually Denon, I know, I think. I'm actually not sure how it's actually pronounced. I just call it Denon. Uh, I got individual channels. So this one controls that one. This button controls that one. I got this very nice volume knob. I got some around here. Yeah. Here's the remote. What's cool is this is motorized. So when I go up on the volume, this will move with it. Right now I have it off. Ow, I stepped on you. That is part of speaker. This goes in the trash can. And today, 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 we're testing out the power output. Why aren't we asking? Because this thing can push out a lot. Each one of these is rated at like 125 watts. I can get the volume up to here, and these things will be full, full going on it. So, I'm gonna hook up one of these. I'm actually going. I might. I'm just gonna hook up one channel to that. And I'm gonna have to time lapse that because I have to find the cable that goes to that subwoofer because that thing weighs like 100 pounds. I really don't feel like trying to move it. So, that is what I'm going to do. to the land of questionable wiring where I can toggle both my sofa first. This is for the seven inch and this is for the 18. Why are we not focused? Welcome to the land of the focus. Uh, so this is my questionable wiring. We go from this nice, whatever the heck gauge this is, all this is itty bitty thin wires. So I just need to separate these two, get this to come up so I'll reach the wires that go to that one. I'm gonna hook up one channel first, then I'm gonna hook up two channels. Um, yeah, let's do that. Here is the speaker wire. You see how to twist this, and the cables that go to this, and we're golden. It's purely golden. I'm gonna keep you off, so I twist it, make sure they don't touch, and then full send. Yeet. Just figured out while I was having connection issues with this one the day prior. You see this cable, or a different cable, the negative side was kind of like sitting offset and just barely pinched. So that's why that didn't, was that having issues like my English skills. So now I just need to twist this around that. Just got these two twisted together. They're not going to go anywhere. So we're good now, so now I can turn this on. Buto. Now I did put my own tint on it, because I thought it would be cool. It is cool. You can have your own opinions about it. Voila. Let me just go into my computer. Unlocks for me. Some non copyright music. N-C-S. It's kind of hard to type through the camera. You can tell where I looked over the camera. Let's see, let's get, let's get this one. On Walker is always a good one. Should probably turn up the volume a little bit. And voila. So it's just that speaker, that speaker, that sub. Ooh, I hear it going. For sure. You should get just a sub. Or at least a center channel. Comes to like a disconnect center channel. There's no button for it. I guess I'm with some bass and I guess I'm excursion. Yeah, I'm gonna test this. Just one hand, just get positive. 
big difference. No crossover. I'm going to get my headphones out of the way. There might be a high cut actually. Oh, let's put our base this one. And just so we have full power going to my receiver. So my storage filled up in the middle of the recording. Let's try this again. Sail remote. Shoot. Knocked you over. Alright, let's get this going. As you see here, follow this cable all the way up and around, and voila, it's two in the receiver. So hopefully, get a little bit of extra power without screwing this thing up. So I'm just going to play at low volume first, because I've never done this before. So I'm not sure if it'll screw the amp or not. Definitely not. I'm going to stand back here though. guessing this is like about this is right at 900 watts rms but i don't believe that to be true so my uncle my audiophile uncle guessed that this was about 500 rms so if it was pushing it that much i'm guessing this thing puts out 300 a channel maybe here let me let me go ahead and unhook this so now there's only one channel again, and we'll push it some more, see what it does. Let's get other part. Second part. Let's see what one channel channel most likely like 150 200 a channel maybe honestly that's pretty it's pretty insane <laughs> and this is pretty good for our receiver that was left in this dude's uh i think shed for i don't know how long it was it was left in his shed for a while i think it was like a year. Just to show you how professional I was, I filled up my phone again mid-speech. I forgot what I was talking about, and I should have watched that video before I hit the record button, but oh well. Uh, yeah, so this dude had it for like a year or so before me, and the door's open. So, um, it's a great receiver. What's it? I estimated... That's right, I gave a decimation factor. Um, I think it's in, it's in between 150 and 200 a channel i mean this thing is insane for what it is it's a few years old this is like it was sitting out in a shed for a while and it's a few years old which is amazing to me like i can't believe that such a thing still exists this old and still working this well i forget what year it was um i think it's is anywhere between five and ten years old which is, for me, that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm gonna go hold on, go ahead and throw everything back together the way it was. And then I'm gonna give you a sound test of the full system. And you get to see how lucky I am to have this awesome setup.
system is back together in its former glory. Dun, 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 dun. So here, let me give you a breakdown of each individual speaker I have in this room. As you see here, 18 inch. That's big. Next one, 7 inch. It's small, but it moves a lot, so it's good for videos. Ports right there, and you see a bunch of wires coming out of it. Just ignore that. It's it's it's, it's fine. It's 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 fine. Um, here we have this speaker. It's not actually right now on on. It's this control unit for this. You see, you have very clever ways of marking how to balance this. I've got wires everywhere. Then I got this speaker, six and a half inch, I think. Is there six inches or six inches? I don't know. Measuring device. See if I can do this one handed. It's be impressive. Ah, shoot. Helps if I unlock, if I unlock it. Just. Jeez. Ah! Had it. Ah, bah, I just had it. Ah! Third time is the charm. Haha! You can't. Well, me, so from edge to edge, it is about six and a half inches. Yeah, I guess, and I'm right. Um, that's seven inches, by the way, if I didn't mention that. So I got tweets, speeps, also, none of these are pushable intervals, which is nice. Then I got your, dang, get out of here, don't need you no more, get in, <clears throat> and have this thing, this thing, this thing. None of these, those caps are pushable, right, except for the big one, and that one was a satellite. Uh, so, tweets, and I got a port right here, oh yeah, these are dual ported, too. Got another one over here, and then the third simple for over here. This one, she needs some help. I'm actually going to be unplugging this one for when I show you the system, because my the biggest problem with this right now is it needs a fuse. Right now I bypassed it, because it's really cool to have a sub here and a sub over there when I'm normally listening to it. I don't have the 18 on, inch on normally, so it's just cool to have two different ones. So I want to turn it off. <laughs> Still question my wiring. Uh, so, yeah. And now, let's get a sound test of all the speepers, because that will be interesting, wouldn't it to be? Just realized, for whatever reason, I do not have any subwoofers on. That's an issue. I think when I was screwing around with this, which actually never connected for whatever reason. Yeah, that's on the on position. I think I pulled the wire out. Yeah. I think I pulled the wire out. Let's take a look-see here, shall we? Voila. Yep, see, that wire is supposed to be touching that. So, gotta rebuild it. Alright, <clears throat> alright, I'm back at it again. I got everything hooked up as it should be. Just make it clean it up just a touch. Uh, I just uh, ended up redoing some, most of that. Uh, so, let's do this. Oop, I left you on. Be unplugging this one for when I show you the system. Oop, I left you on. Yeah, eat. Hope you guys enjoyed the little demo I did I didn't feel like killing all of my neighbors so I didn't go full tilt with my system um, please tell me what you think in the comments down below if you scroll down a little bit there's a comment section uh, <laughs> I hope you all have a good day because today's a day for a good day right because that's what good days are all about um, yeah, please tell me what you think of my system. Please like, let's like, like, the, like, like the video. I mean, let's just put a little bit quick. Oh, and also, please, f for, 
for the love of this channel, subscribe and turn that bell on so you know when I appear periodically upload. Hope y'all have a good day and see ya.